Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Anvils for Glory. I'm just going to say it now. This is take four. Take four. The first two takes were terrible because I couldn't even do anything right with this character. The third take was probably my best take. And then all of a sudden I realized that it was only two sets. Now I'm doing the fourth take, and if I don't get a good run on this character, for the most part, I'm gonna either A, throw this game in the garbage, B, play a different character and actually have fun for once, or B, just apply for college, which I've been doing for the most part, and obviously, that's basically my main focus right now, and if you can no doubt tell, I actually had the... I'm just gonna be honest, I haven't been doing a lot of streams or videos as of late, uh, to say the least. Because, like I said, I'm actually preparing for college and all that, and... Oh god, the pivot grabs are real with this character. Like, I'm basically focusing on that and not focusing on streams because, like I said, I want to better my lot, better my life at least. And basically, wanting to do that is basically doing that first. Um, then again, I do need to get my driver's license and all that. Uh, I don't know. I'm just scared to basically drive for the most part. Like, I'm not... Like, the couple times when my family tried to teach me how to drive uh, back then, uh, I, I was not good at driving whatsoever. I was just scared for the most part. That and anxious for the, for the time being. So that's basically personal story of the day for the most part. And he just swallowed me. Oh my god, kawaii. Alert, ladies and gentlemen. But why is he all... Oh yeah, this is the Man Knight skin. I forgot. Man, it's been a while since I did this. Like I said in my uh, second update video that I'd be taking a hiatus from this, and I felt the urge to actually do it again. Not to mention I wanted to... That, is this person for real right now? <laughs> I kept juggling him. Oh, here we go again. No! Oh, oh, messed up. What? Okay. If I somehow screw this up again... If I somehow screw this up... Like all my other attempts at this bloody character... I will... Uh, and my brain will literally rape... Itself. But hey, we at least got it. Okay, so that's at least a good thing. Alright. Um, yeah, so basically what I was trying to say is, uh, like, for the most part, I basically wanted to go to college. I think it's about time to actually do it. I took two years from school. Well, actually one year, uh, for the most part. And then 2015 was supposed to be time that I had to go to college, but I had a little bit of problem, uh, um, embarrassingly talking to other people, but this time I actually did it for the most part, and I actually am trying to practice my speech and all that, and at the most part, I'm actually trying to get into TV production and graphics, and I wanted to start doing uh, graphics design for the most part, and I wanted to get like a, like, I said that later on that I would be getting editing software, um, and one of the things that I wanted to get was Adobe, uh, the Creative Cloud stuff and all that. And I thought it was, like, a fair deal for the most part. And then I realized that not many people were happy about it. And, like, the customer support would just basically bribe them getting free months just so they could stay on the subscription plan. And it was really, really shady in my eyes. That that does not sound like a good deal at all. Like if you're basically bribing your comp bribing your customers for the most part, basically uh, trying to bribe them just to stay on your terrible platform, which you have released separately over the years. So, 
but oh yeah, money and profits. Just basically trying to make a quick cash in on ever growing uh, freaking cloud. Mmm, yes. Technology be damned. Yeah, you pretty much tell that I'm just sick and tired of Adobe. Uh, basically trying to scam money out of people for the most part. Like, if there's one thing I could see in the bad business thing, it's just basically shady business for the most part. Like, I'm not really a connoisseur of talking about the business and all that. I just basically see bullshit from a mile away. And I lost that. Great. Here I am talking about Adobe's terrible subscription-based service, and I'm trying to get see, uh, the Creative Suite 4, which is basically the... Uh, as far as I know, the only thing that's actually the least expensive, around $325, but unfortunately, the one listing that I saw on eBay was sold out, so I basically have to find another thing that had Premiere in it, because that's the ending program that I want to try and get. And getting Premiere is kind of hard because they usually just overprice the ever-loving hell out of it. And that's kind of stupid in my eyes. I mean, I would love to try out the programs and all that. But it's just so hard to try and find them. And oh, no, 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 no! No, it's King DDD! I tried fighting against the King DDD and it didn't work! It did not work. Ah. Did I, oh my god, I just seriously messed that up. Get out of here. Oh my god, I can't believe I screwed that up. Oh my god, I can't believe I screwed that up. Ugh. Thank you, Adobe, for screwing me up. Now I'm probably thinking about getting the Platinum Suite for the, from Sony. Thank you. You clever gals, you. No, I... This is not great. This is just terrible. I just basically died down to my own death. I could have had a victory there, and I basically screwed it all up. Um, by the way, things are going to be a little different during these uh, videos. I'm actually going to be doing, like, tourney sets and all that. Basically going from 2 out of 3 to 2 out of 3 to basically uh, 3 out of 5 for the most part for the final set. Oh, boy. That was the most embarrassing thing I have ever done. And it's all because I'm trying to get the stupid Raptor boots down, and I can't. See, the thing about Bayonetta is that she is a very tricky character, yet she has one of the most broken combos in the history of the game. Uh, basically, it's a very hard combo, but once you do it, you essentially kill your opponent. And all that. And that's not cool for the most part. And many people who play as Bayonetta are now getting a bunch of flag. But hey, maybe they'll cut me some slack because I'm not doing it at all. But then again, they just hate Bayonetta in general, so I'm probably going to get a bunch of hate. But then again, I'll probably get hate for a different reason. I swear, if I killed myself again, I would basically just go out there and just... Ugh. I'm going to be honest, sometimes my aggressive, uh, aggressive play style kind of kicks in, and I'm trying to read movements. I'm trying to be a better player. Yeah, with college, other stuff, and not to mention there's been a lot of stuff happening in my personal life that's just basically being more annoying than ever. And not to mention being more bothersome than ever. 
It's just, it's been a pain as of late. I mean, it's not, say, a bad thing. It's just a really annoying thing for the most part. Like, sometimes drama just gets in your way and just ruins some point of life. I mean, my brother and my father just keep arguing day in and day out. All about stupid things like, oh, why did you not, why did you mess up the kitchen? Or, hey, what? what's the point of basically making stuff if you're just not going to clean after yourself? Or something like that. There's been more personal matters for the most part, which I won't get to because I want to keep them on the down low. But yeah, it's been like a bothersome couple of days for the most part. And that's why I've been slowing down production. It's just family issues. It's just been going absolutely crazy over the past couple of days. And I just realized I'm not even doing that bad or anything. And I sometimes, like, I feel like that most of these arguments are probably my fault. Like, I have no idea. Like, I always have that mentality that if something happens, I'm probably going to be the one that's basically blaming myself. And not to mention blaming me, in general. Like, even though I didn't do it, I just have some sort of guilt that goes on in my head thinking, yeah, I kind of did this and I kind of done that. I mean, it's just... I mean, it's just the way I am. I mean, I'm basically a nice person around my family. I'm probably the... I'm probably the only family member that actually cares about my own family for once. I mean, I know there's plenty of other people, but I really do care about my family. It's just been past couple of days that I've been so stressed out that I couldn't get anything done. I couldn't get any Shovel Knight episodes done on Monday. Um, usually because, like, I don't know, I'm just too stressed out. And then my sleeping schedule gets messed up. It's just crazy. Anyways, uh, hopefully I don't cost this set like I did the other one. Uh, I think I've just spent way too much time talking about personal ordeals. Let's get back into the fun matters of sorts. And that sounded really forceful. I apologize. Yeah, and I'm going to cost myself this match. Like, I don't know. The thing about Bayonetta for me is that... She's a very controversial character, but she's also one of the trickiest characters, to say the least. Because, one thing's for sure, I have no idea how to play as her. Like, I just know what's best, for the most part. And obviously, I can do that, because, A, I'm just basically... She's basically too tall. <laughs> when dealing with like short round people like Kirby and freaking uh, Jigglypuff. Uh. If that re wow, that actually did reach. And I'm just doing the bakery right now. This is not good. I shouldn't be doing bakeries. I'm making Swedish rolls, freaking bread all over the place. And she's just trying to basically get that arrest on me. Now, I don't know if, like, one thing's for sure, she can actually get arrest on me if I, um, I don't know. I gotta, no, ugh. You know, if I didn't get rid of my first stock so easily like me just self-destructing myself like multiple times because I'm just focusing on Bayonetta like the character is just basically I mean that's the thing about me like too aggressive in the game I get some hits but I'm too blind and dumb that's basically what I am at this point Basically blind and dumb, but aggressive as all hell in this game for the most part. And that's basically the thing, too. Like, I'll do some really crazy stuff when it comes in uh, away from the air for the most part. But at the same time, like, 
I'm basically terrible with Bayonetta. Like, she is not a dangerous character when people are facing me with her. Uh, let me rephrase that. Like, they don't see a Bayonetta player that's been watching a bunch of uh, Pink Fresh and Riot and uh, I don't know what other character people play as. I don't know what other people play as Bayonetta. But all they see is a guy that's basically playing as Bayonetta in the end. Like, that's what it is. So, if you want a controversy, how about the controversy of basically me sucking as Bayonetta? And then everybody will like her again, I guess. Oh, wait. No, they won't. And not to mention, like, I don't know. It's always, like, that aggressive personality that I usually have with certain characters. I mean, with Yoshi, I'm basically more tactical. I'm basically more defensive in some cases. And when I go all out, I will go all out with Yoshi. He's probably one of my best characters for that reason alone. And this is why I don't like Bayonetta. Like, her Raptor boost is basically the one thing that got me killed the most. And it's basically, like, her thing isn't hard to do. It's just, it's timing it for the most part. Especially when trying to, like, trying to get back on the platform just basically in the air without wasting the double jump. And I keep forgetting about the double jump as well. And... Okay, there we go. Much better. I was... And that's another thing. Like, Bayonetta is like... Which time can basically block attacks. Which will sometimes block my attack. Whenever I try and finish them off. And that's not really a good thing. And... I don't even know what happened there. That's not really a good thing for Bayonetta, because that would mean that she would get most of her attacks blocked. And for me, that's not a good thing. And also, I've been trying to read more of her moves and all that, and just... Trying to basically improve, like... Like, Smash is all about being, like, mindful of your surroundings and reactions for the most part. And just read your opponent's mind. Like there, I just basically screwed up and didn't get that. Like, this is me right now. Like, I'm trying to read his movement and he kept uh, spamming his attack. And I keep realizing that I'm supposed to be on the other side. There we go. Finally, we got a set. All right. Now, the last set's going to be like three out of five, like just in the tourneys and all that. So this is basically the grand finals. And, okay, I was trying to say something like earlier where I'm supposed to be saying, oh, yeah, if I don't get a good set this time around, I'm basically going to be saying, A, I'm going to basically play a different game, have fun, and play as a different character, or basically just go to college. I mean, oh shoot, uh, wait, my bad, I didn't mean to leave. I, I did mean to leave, but I forgot to actually do it. Damn it. Ugh. Uh, looks like we're gonna have ourselves a cut. Cause this, this does count as a win, but this is just an extra battle, so. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, you go away. Alright, should I say cut? Yeah. Cut!
Okay, we're finally back, and yes, I had to cut through basically Paradiso for the most part. Yeah, I had to encounter like a bunch of people, like, I don't know, Jane, uh, I think there was like this one weasel guy that sounded like Danny DeVito, he was actually a mob hitman. Pretty sure he was in like one movie, and oh, hello, Marth! Oh, great, and this. My run-in with Marth has been pretty bad as of late. Like, every single Marth that I encounter... Oh, God, please don't screw up. Every Marth I encounter nowadays is just basically... Yeah, I'm basically going to get screwed over, and it's going to be the tipper that basically meets my own demise. Yep. Yep. Like I said, the tipper is going to cost me the match. And it, I, I, I said it. I said it. Like, the tipper cost me the match. Thank you, tipper. Yeah. Ugh. Why do I keep forgetting that that thing is going to be the death of me one day? Like, the Mars. All the Mars will basically be the enemy. And other Bayonetta players that are basically doing that stupid zero to death combo. Like, no offense, guys. It, it, like, I can't do that. So what the heck should I complain? Well, I'm playing the character, and right now, I kind of wish that I had the death. I am basically screwing myself. I basically screwed myself over. Oh, my God. You know, I could just stay here all day. <laughs> Never mind, Bando will just drop by herself. He'll just taunt and realize, okay, how is he not dead yet? Oh, well, he's dead. Uh, I gotta do three round. I gotta do four rounds with this guy. Yep, one victory and he wins the rest. Ugh. I don't want. I don't want to. I don't want to. But hey, at least it's much better than the. At least I'm actually getting three sets, where the others, even my fill takes had three sets. My best take, take three, was basically all terrible. Because I forgot an extra set, and I thought I was done with the video. Like, I'm mostly focusing on my freaking C-Stick as my attack. Oh my god, Marth, leave me alone. Oh god. No, what? How? I, th another thing about Bayonetta that I don't like is her recovery. Her recovery is so rampant sometimes. Oh my god. Get out of here. Yeah, that's all I can do is just waste the waste time. I don't care. You want to call me cheap? I call you cheap. Cheap, cheap. Ah, I tried going from the B. For, uh, up B, not, like, the normal B. Otherwise, I would have punished myself. Which I'm doing a whole lot, because I am basically staying away from this person more so than others. Oh, my God. <laughs> and things were going smoothly. Things were going absolutely smoothly. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm basically gonna die. Yep. Oh, come on, you just got me with the freaking shield breaker. That doesn't even deserve a taunt. Uh, you can already tell I'm getting salty at this point. And I haven't even encountered a Marth yet. Like, Marth is improving, like, tremendously, though I haven't really seen him a lot in tournaments. Hmm, I wonder why. Hmm, maybe it's because of Bayonetta. But then again, this is my Bayonetta, which means I am terrible at Bayonetta, which means I am no longer good at Bayonetta because everybody else is already better than me. Ah. Uh. You can already tell that the salt is already pouring in, and I'm basically doing a terrible job at it. But hey, at least I'm having fun, right? Uh, no, wait a minute. At least I got a completed set. Actually, complete a bunch of sets. No. No. 
Okay. He knows how to read my movements. Like, I'm very predictable right now. Like, I'm basically very predictable. I should have grabbed him. Uh, like, I don't like the fact that he's a, like, he doesn't get interrupted when doing some of his tags. Like, that's what made him much, so much better in my eyes. I mean, sure, you can't have a broken character just basically being broken for all the wrong reasons. You know, like, say, he doesn't work, his temper doesn't work, and not to mention his, like, did his moves actually get interrupted in the past? Like, I'm not too sure. He should have gotten me with the forward smash. He should have. And that tipper, my goodness. And I just wasted like three of my <laughs> witch times, so I have to wait for at least a four. What were you doing with that? Okay, at least I didn't waste that witch time right there. Witch time! Like, again, I'm trying to do that stupid move, but it's not working. Like, that stupid combo and all that, that everybody keeps using, it's just... It's just like, I don't know, it's something with Bayonetta just basically... You know, if she stops sucking lollipops, maybe she can actually work for me and basically get the stupid thing for me. But I guess uh, Rodan basically wants me to finish it, finish Dab and basically, uh, you know, actually not live. Oh my god, can I actually get this? Can I do this? Can I actually do this? Nope. You know, at this point, this guy can basically kill me all he cares about. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. If I try and recover with Bayonetta, I know I'm going to die. So anyways, that's it for this episode. I'm sick and tired of Bayonetta, and I'm never playing as her ever again. You know what? I'm just sick and tired. Oh my god. I can't play as Bayonetta for crap. I mean, sure, I got one set, but this is probably the worst thing I've ever done in my entire life. And even with the extra rule of me doing a grand final set, yeah, that, that's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Bayonetta, never playing against her again. She can go screw herself. I can go back to Yoshi, or hell, actually practice up on my Luigi, because he's probably going to be the next episode, he's probably going to be Kirby. Uh, hmm. So, yeah. I'm going to apply for college now. I'm going to follow in my appointments. And I'm never going to... And I'm probably going to stream on Wednesday. <laughs> Which is today. It is 4.52 a.m. I'm pretty sure this is where all the pro players actually practice their skills and test it out on, like, four glory sessions. Hmm. Probably a bad practice regime, regime, if I have to say. Uh, you know, with all the lag, the frame drops, and, uh, <laughs> lag input. But, nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys see me actually get enraged again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably going to play as uh, Pikachu. Probably play as Kirby next. My bad. And I'm actually going to have fun with that character. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next episode, which will probably be a little longer. If you guys indeed enjoy this, why don't you share it with your friends and actually give it a rating in the comment. Tell me what you think. And also, 
Uh, you can follow me on Twitter in case the sub boxes ain't working if you want to get notified for future videos and live stream updates. For the most part. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. I'm finally done with Bayonetta, guys. I am finally done. Hooray for me!